we look into the protocol against the smuggling of migrants, there is the smuggling of migrants as such, which is defined by the illegal crossing of a border of a person who is not a national or permanent resident of the destination country, and all that is done for financial and material benefit. You also have another type of migrant smuggling, which is the enabling stay. So it means that the smugglers are helping migrants use means in order for them to stay in the country. So they may have crossed the border legally, but then they remain in the territory thanks to the smugglers who may have uh, means to, to counter this. And another form as well is the use of document fraud in the smuggling process. This is also defined in the protocol against the smuggling of migrants. The fact that it is a deadly business is due to the involvement of organized crime groups, but not only. Some border responses are very strong and then lead smugglers to be using uh, means of transport and methods which put at risk the life and safety of migrants. And given that they're more looking into the profit than into the safety of the migrants, they put in, in danger the lives and safety of these migrants. Um, and this should be addressed by states as well as aggravating circumstances because migrants do die and are wounded as well during the process. Given that they're vulnerable, they can also be victims of other crimes in the process of the smuggling of migrants. They can be beaten, they can be raped, they can be harassed, etc., etc. Typically, the Africa to Europe route, which is actually using different channels uh, in the continent, the African continent, can go through West Africa. It goes a lot through the desert, so in the center of Africa as well, but also East Africa, and sometimes transiting through Middle East and going into Europe through Greece or Turkey. That's for this route. You also have an important route from Central Asia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, towards Asia, and uh, eventually Australia. Uh, you also see the route from uh, Latin America, Central America to North America. But I think what is important to highlight is that there are not only these routes that are the first ones you would think of. You also have transregional routes. For example, you see now uh, influx and flows going from Asia through West Africa and into Central America to end up in North America. So these flows are very flexible and we need to keep an eye on what's going on because we can't assume that the traditional routes remain. You can have the journey by air, land and sea. You can have a mix of them, which happens very often. Um, we also see uh, a lot of use of document fraud and uh, also obtaining documents in a fraudulent way. This is something that is growing, especially for travel by air. But on, not only that, you also have abuse of legal procedures. And this is associated with the smuggling of migrants, but also enabling stay, as I, um, as I explained earlier. This are growing and these are more difficult to detect because uh, the smugglers know the procedure, the legal procedure very well. It could be asylum uh, um, seeking, for example, but it could be uh, sham marriages. It could be uh, even uh, involving a child, declaration of parenthood uh, of a child which is not yours, but then that would allow you to stay in the territory. So. These abuse of legal procedures are also modus operandi, which is, uh, which, is, which is being used and which is very difficult for, for authorities to, to address. Within the smuggling process, especially in networks which are the most organized. So it can range from recruiting to transporting, but you also have uh, the people in charge of document fraud, those who would uh, launder the money the, in order to... Uh, to um, to use the profits made from, uh, from the smuggling venture. Traditionally, that would be young men, uh, very often single men, um, but we see that some of them are quite educated, uh, they are not the poorest uh, in their country, uh, but we've also seen that more and more women uh, migrate and use smugglers to do so uh, independent. Uh, you need to think also about uh, refugees, asylum seekers who may be using the services of smugglers uh, and who do so not for economic reasons, but because they need to flee their country 
because of persecution in their country. In a way, they're very vulnerable too because they cannot return to their country. And they very often need to leave their country very fast. So they are also uh, uh, very prone to abuse in terms of um, how much payment they need to make. You may pay in advance fully, but very often you would pay before you depart about half of the amount and then uh, the other half upon arrival. Sometimes you may even have free trials in case uh, the first time it fails, you may be able to, to, to try it again for free. Uh, th this, been, this has been seen. Uh, you also have uh, other types of payments which would go through um, Awala, for example, informal uh, payment process. Uh, so no use of cash, but some types of transfer which cannot be traced and which are using these uh, informal processes. The first one is awareness raising, so that uh, there's a common understanding of what this crime is, what is its impact as well, but also understanding that this is a problem, a crime that is seen all over the world, and that the challenges are the same. And the second aim of this conference is the need for cooperation, cooperation in different ways. Informal cooperation between the police, for example, in terms of uh, information sharing, but also formal cooperation within um, formal uh, forums, but also with mutual legal assistance, extradition, etc., etc. So I think this, this conference is supposed to, to be fostering this cooperation, and I think this is what we've seen so far, so this is, uh, this is very positive. Uh, this and also one of the conclusions is that we need more of these conferences, and we need to also have a better knowledge of the smuggling of migrants trends in order to enhance our response to this crime and protect, better protect the migrants as well. Mm -hmm.